How you doing everyone? This is Kevin back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on the fluid seal ring installation set. This tool we got from Freedom Racing. Uh, these guys are a really good company for tools. Uh, a little while back we did an installation on a, uh, the, we rebuilt a whole hydraulic cylinder uh, for a Kubota tractor and um, now, if you want to see the full uh, video, we'll leave a link at the top of the page so you can see that. But today, we're only going to be working on this part of the hydraulic cylinder. We're going to be replacing this seal right here. We're actually going to replace them all, but this is the main one for the tool. All right, what I want to do is make sure you guys can see the number, the telephone number, website you can go to uh, and check out the line of tools that they have. Now, I'm not sure if they sell actually this tool in different sizes. We're going to get into that later. I'm going to let them know that I'm actually needing another one of these tools. And if they do have it, we'll do a video on it too and uh, show you how it works. But right now, we need to get this thing changed up and show you how it works. get started pulling this thing apart and uh, get ready to put that ring in there uh, one of the viewers on my channel told me that uh, he's put these on without this tool uh, I don't remember his name but I wish he'd do a video because I'd really like to see that done because uh, these things are so tough I mean I've had a hard time even the last time when we took this one off we had a really hard time getting it out of there. It's definitely tough. This is really, I don't know exactly what it's made from, but it's definitely hard. So we're gonna try to get this off without poking our fingers. I know you can't get it off without destroying it. Well, we got it stretched out there pretty good now. We should be able to pull it out of there. As you can see, uh, the seal is definitely a tough seal to get off. Now, they might make different tools even for taking that seal off. I don't know, but you could always get a hold of Freedom Racing, Freedom Racing and, and see what they got. I haven't had a chance to go through all of their tools on their channel, but I do know they have a lot of tools that are like custom tools, uh, things that, that are hard to... Uh, get in just your local you know your stores so we're going to clean this thing up a little bit and get it ready to show you how that ring has to go back on i do know we have to get this seal out of the inside too there's one down in here we're going to have to get out too so we'll get this cleaned up and we'll get ready to mount the uh, ring in there Okay, these are your two new seals that we're going to have to put in there. The very first one you want to put on is this one here. Do not put the rest of them on this. You want to do this one first and then this one second. And as you can see, this guy is about almost the same around as what your metal is. So it's, it's really tight on there. There's, I mean, that thing has to go a good ways to get down over there. And you can see how bad I tore this one up just trying to get it off. So we're going to get to using this tool and show you how it works. How much easier it'll make to put that ring on. All right, we're going to go over the tool just a little bit. Now, one thing you have to remember when you order this tool... And we know that we're, we're working on a arm on a Kubota tractor, a hydraulic cylinder on a Kubota tractor. And what you want to do is measure this piece here. You want to measure this and make sure that it's not too big or too small for what ring you're going to be putting on. That was one thing when we ordered this, this piece, this tool, that we had to make sure that we had the right size because there is different size of these and this one here uh, 
happened, you know, we had to measure it, like I said, to make sure it fit this. And what you'll do is you're going to set this piece down on the top, but you have to adjust this part of the tool to where when you put it on the, uh, and we did ours this way, when you put it on there, it's going to line right up with that ring, that seat in there where you want this ring to stop, where you want it to slide on. So you will set it down and you'll line this up. And we did ours this way. You don't have to do it this way. You could flip yours over. And we lined it up just like that. And you can see where our ring is going to sit in there. And then after you get it in this position here, what you're going to do is you're going to stick your seal on here. And then this piece here will slide down on top of this. And this is where you're going to put the pressure on it to get it to go all the way down over top of this and onto your little piece here. And then once you have it on there, once we have the ring in its position where it needs to be, we're going to use this tool as a calibrator. This is tapered. It has a very hard taper on it. It's, it's, it's going to go right down over the top of this and it's going to squeeze this seal right down inside there the way it's supposed to be. I did want to show you guys something. There's a little hole that we drilled in the table the last time we did this and it's set right down inside there and kept this from rocking back and forth as bad. So we actually drilled a little hole in there. You can see the little tip on here and that goes right down inside that little hole. That did help us out. Now when he lays that down on there, well, we want that to be lined up just perfect. You want that slice to be lined up perfect where it's going to drop off. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some, we want uh, a good bit of this hydraulic fluid. And we're going to, we're going to rub it all over this thing because it's got to be slippery. If it's not slippery, it's not going to go down on there. So we want to make sure we've got plenty on here. A little too much is better than not enough. So now we're going to get our ring. First thing we want to do is make sure we put this ring in. If we forget that, we're going to be in bad, bad shape. So let's get this guy. We're going to throw a little hydraulic oil on him too. And we're just using the same hydraulic oil that the tractor runs in. So let's get this going here. So we'll go ahead and get our, we're going to put some hydraulic fluid even on this guy here. Now the tough part, we got to get this to seat that down on there. Now we had a little rough time with the last one, but it will go. So we're going to give it a good push. Okay, we should be on there. Okay, so our ring is in place now. Now as you can see how much bigger the ring is than what the metal is. Now if we could compare it with what it looked like before, this actually stretched that ring out a good bit. So now to calibrate that ring, we're going to dip our calibrator down in some good oil and we're going to go ahead and we're going to slip this down on top. Now what that did was smash our ring right down against where it's supposed to be. So we'll pop this back out. It's a little bit tight in there. Now look at the difference in how tight. When I push up on the ring, it doesn't come up. So it's nice and tight on there. Okay, I can't stress enough. Uh, letting you know, do not put this seal on the inside first. Do not put any of the seals on it. You want to do the first, the O-ring in there, and then the outside ring. So keep that in mind when you're putting your hydraulic cylinder get together. I would like to tell Freedom Racing 
thank you for working with us on getting this tool. Uh, when we called Freedom Racing, they actually measured this up, took it out of the box and measured it up for us. They did all they could to help us with what we needed. It seems to me this is a really good company. They even threw me some extra stickers in, and guess what? That's an extra five horsepower, so that's pretty cool. Thanks, Freedom Racing. All right, guys, that's the uh, seal kit tool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out freedomracing.com. They got some pretty awesome tools. We actually went through their website looking at their tools, and it looks to me like uh, a lot of their tools are specialty tools, tools that you're probably not going to find anywhere else. So uh, definitely if you're in a jam and you need a good tool, give them guys a call and let them know what you need. And I'm sure they'll work with you. And I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.